keyboard uh, properly. Then go back in scripting, select everything, export, and let's see what's going on. Okay, oh, is it bugging? Where are my billboards? No, it is not, okay? This is absolutely normal. Basically, we're, these billboards are just a plane, okay? And we still have the same problem that we had with uh, the leaves or, you know, those, uh, the leaves of the, of the tree or the box, okay? This is because of the back face. So, basically, there's two tricks that you can apply to avoid this kind of effect. If you're using billboard like for uh, like a tree, like two quads, you know, like uh, one on each other, like with an angle of like 45 degree to simulate like a tree, a billboarded tree, uh, you can use, you know, like two sides like we did, you know, for these ones. So back face, front face will be rendered properly. But in this case, we only have like grass. So it's basically like one single plane, okay, that it's there. So what we can do to cheat a little, okay, I'm going to select like my first one, and I'm going to go in edit mode, make sure that all my faces are selected with A, and I'm going to flip the normals. So by doing this, I'm always going to look, I'm always going to have this billboard that is in front of me. So uh, this one will always be visible, and I'm just going to export like quickly here, just to show you, okay? I only apply it on this one, so you'll, you'll see what happened. Uh, well, I didn't need to select everything, but it doesn't matter. Okay, here and run it. And then, oh, I only have this one that it's rendered, and this is uh, correct. Okay, I didn't apply the alpha value, I will do it in a moment, but when I go like near this, uh, near this one, I'm able to see that it's billboarding, you know, like when the camera, you know, like, it always faces, you know, like the camera doesn't matter in like which angle the camera is. So first, before fixing the alpha uh, value problem, I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the others. I go back in model here. Oops. Go back on model and flip the normal. Select flip the normals. Select flip the normals. Select and flip the normals. Okay. So now they're looking at the other side. So which is basically okay. So we are always sure that they're going to face us. Okay. Since the rotation is done in the opposite uh, clock direction. So I'm going to select this one and then go apply my uh, alpha value. Okay, and in material, make sure that this is selected, map to, and I'm going to go for value. Select this one and value, select this one and value, select this one and also value. And guess what? This one also, value. Okay, so right here we can see that when we are a little bit like back, we can see that there's like problems with, with these one because of the alpha. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before, okay? We're going to tweak these, okay, with the translucency, which is the alpha level. And I'm going to put uh, 0 0.5, okay? So automatically, like, every fragment below that will be, uh, <coughs> will be discarded. So we can have, like, a more sharp, like, fin of grass, okay? scripting and I'm going to need to edit that oops I only do one I'm going to do that on all of them so select this one here and 0 0.5 0 0.5 oops 0 0.5 this one is already set no it's not 0 0.5 0 0.5 this one is set 0 0.5. Okay, go back in scripting. Now export. All good. And build and go again. Okay, so now we can see that everything is billboarding and the fin, like uh, of the grass, okay, are properly rendered without any problem. Okay, this is good like for trees, okay, like this type of billboarding, like for billboarding trees is pretty good. But for grass, you know, we want to have like another another effect, okay. We want to be able like uh, to 
simulate that we are like like smashing this grass like uh, bend it when we're walking on it so I'm going to go back in model and I'm going to select one face hopefully the same face that I select billboard which is fine and I'm going to select halo instead okay it's not like really like the appropriate term but this is the best that I found like in blender to be capable to uh, do what I wanted so I'm going to switch all the grass here selecting the same one to be oops to be halo instead of billboard and I'm going to unclick billboard on my other face okay because basically like this type of property what I'm doing is I'm uh, looping okay the the faces of the object inside the exporter and I pick up like the first property that I found on the face and this is the one that I'm applying like on all the objects so uh, for these texture face property always use okay I know it's a little bit painful but try to always use the same face where you're applying those texture face properties so if you have like to change you only have like to select one and not like go through all the mesh all the faces like one by one to check if that was properly set okay so basically now everything is in order everything has been set to halo so uh, I'm just going to select these one I'm just going to select the grass because that's the only thing I've been updated that I have okay I don't want this one okay so only the grass will be updated which is exactly what I want alright and run it again and now we're going to see that we have like a different effect like when we're going through that grass this grass is like bending also in the direction you see that it's like bending in the direction like 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 we like we squash it or something so this is also a line like the first version of the billboard was only aligned like on the z-axis but this one is also like considering the x-axis aligned so you really have like the like the illusion that you are like smashing like squashing that uh, grass okay but that, that's not real anyway. but depending on what you're trying to achieve okay uh, that can be like useful especially for grass and that doesn't cost anything it's like pretty easy and like low calculation to do so uh, that doesn't cost a lot of CPU time to do that alright and as the final touch for our tutorial we're going to add like a simple environment okay I'm going to add like a sky dome and I'm going to go on top view and I'm going to select like plus or minus the middle of my plane add mesh and UV sphere I'm going to push S to scale it a bit and with JG uh, adjust it a little bit and here my tree is choking so I'm going to select that tree and put it back like in the middle right there oh, okay so that should be nice okay then go in front view Oops. select my sphere of course go in front view and here I'm going to toggle this off so I'm going to select like even back front and back faces here and faces boom everything is gone now here uh, I'm gonna uh, this one is like actually pretty dense like I'm gonna select all and control T to make them be triangle switch across the triangle and this is a little bit heavy so we, we don't need like to be that heavy so I'm gonna run like in script I mean edit mode okay so script and poly reducer and I'm going to optimize like uh, the triangles here. I'm going to run it twice since I think it's going to be okay. Okay, since like the device that we're working on have been you know, like pretty low polygon processing power. Okay, uh, if a lot of people ask me already like on the forum like how many polygons I can put and blah blah, I would say about 6K. Okay, 6K with lightning, with texture, multi texture and physics applied on almost every object you get the limitation of about 6k uh, 